I really want to say big thanks to all the speakers who came in and uh, presenting their presentations uh, today. I really want to say huge thanks to our sponsors and our uh, diamond sponsors, gold sponsors. Um, without their support, this will not um, happen. Also, I want to do a quick shout out if uh, my colleagues from uh, program committee is uh, in the room, Nick, Lynn, um, if you see them and you like these uh, presentations, uh, just like, I don't know, to say them that you love this, this, this uh, conference. Um, and uh, for my like a personal, uh, I was asked to, to share some personal opinion. If you're interested in this, you know, if you're not, you're free to go. If you're interested, you stay for a few more seconds. Um, yeah, but I was, um, <clears throat> I was, I was there a couple, couple months ago when we were at the um, uh, KubeCon Europe and we were talking about some of the cool things around the sidecarless technologies. And now, like a few months after, we already have uh, working implementations using different technologies, using eBPF, using, um, uh, some other things and this is exciting. This is exciting a uh, place to be um, uh, I work uh, at Kong. We also uh, uh, contributing to open source project called Kuma and we're also um, About to release uh, the Kuma 2.0 in uh, CNCF It's going to be also including some of the cool features including eBPF Everyone is including eBPF and you get the eBPF you get the eBPF you get the eBPF. It's awesome, right? We want to have uh, this kind of like a uh, reducing the user experience, as you can, as you remember, and uh, many of our uh, panelists were talking about user experience, developer experience. Um, uh, I forgot the name of the gentleman from Shipped. He said, "Developers don't give. They don't care about the service mesh. They want to run successfully your application. They want to make sure that uh, we get the metrics from the application. We can investigate if something goes south." Um, that's what they need. Uh, they want uh, that uh, security and compliance get off their back. So that's why like encryption is important. No, no one interested in security for the sake of security, but security for somehow, you know, getting bigger budgets if you have a, like a, um, some of the data leaks and things like that, right? So no one wants to be that person that uh, will ask for security budget increase. So that's why we care about security. Um, and this is important. And uh, I guess the Keith who was mentioned this, yeah, like we want to deploy this in Kubernetes and the security will be, you know, done for us. That's what we want. Um, not like a tinkering and figure out which, which layer we want to do. Um, so I personally super excited for the future that um, is happening in open source. We have, I don't know, like seven or eight different service mesh projects in CNCF right now. It's pretty exciting and see how uh, different projects are, are working together. Um, right at the KubeCon um, Europe, uh, there was an announcement about the gateway um, uh, gateway API based on Envoy. That's another uh, pretty cool field. And now we're seeing like many, many uh, vendors of uh, API gateways, API management solutions, and service measures supporting API the way. Uh, gateway API, API gateway. Blah. Yeah, gateway APIs. It's, it's it's a pretty cool uh, thing. If you um, interested in this, it's the future of uh, ingress and how you will be configuring stuff. Um, for the record, ingress is not going anywhere. We're just like, getting uh, new exciting APIs. So with this, um, thank you so much for being part of the service MeshCon. Uh, my name is Victor Gamov, and as always, have a nice day. I'll see you maybe tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Um, come to say hi and uh, enjoy KubeCon.